Hello, 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 hello. We're back from Guadalajara. We're back from Guadalajara. Yes, this is Coffee and Headlines after Guadalajara. Can you see that I'm happy? <laughs> Welcome to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at headlines from our city, our state, and our country. We take a look at your comments, your ideas, your suggestions your concerns about how we can spend quality time here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. It is a pleasure to get together with you on uh, Monday, July. What is today? Today is the 18th, I think. I'm not even sure what day is today, but it is a good day to get together, tell you about my weekend. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, and of course, to share our usual batch of news and headlines that we find. I'm sorry, we started a little late this morning, but this is what happens when you come back on a late night bus. Um, and we'll get into details about the weekend in a second. But first of all, what a pleasure to get together with you again. I always bring you with me on my travels and I posted a bunch of photographs um, through the weekend on the Coffee and Headlines Facebook page. But of course, we are going to have some a little bit of video walking for you today from Guadalajara so that you can appreciate what makes it so wonderful and, and, and amazing to me. And of course, my dear friend Tommy was there with me. Um, I recently, uh, be bleh, let me start that again. Tommy and his husband, Eric, just recently became full-time English-speaking locals. They have come to Puerto Vallarta a number of times, but this was Tommy's first incursion to Guadalajara. Uh, so it was a pleasure to watch to watch him blossom and flourish and learn of all the possibilities that Guadalajara offers for anybody that enjoys walking, certainly in the downtown area. You cannot go wrong. So it was a great trip. I'll tell you about it after the fold. But first, as always, if you are new to the broadcast, please let us know. Uh, you can do so by adding a comment that says new. And once we see your comment, we'll give you a nice, happy welcome. And of course, if there's something really important on your mind that you want to make sure that we talk about, uh, please add the uh, capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment, and we will be happy to look at it during the second half of the broadcast. First, as always, we will take a look at our news and then our weather, and then we will talk a little bit about uh, Guadalajara and do a little bit of a show and tell. So I think this is a good time to uh, get this show on the road. So let me push the first button. Bam. And of course, we don't need to start with that one. No, we mean to start with this one. <laughs> Um, let's see. Beach tourism director Arturo Davalos Peña. Yes, the guy that is collecting two salaries. Apparently, he's still the beach tourism director. But what do I know? Anyhow, uh, Arturo Davalos informed. Oh, wait. No, no, that's not true. I'm getting my gentleman mixed up. Beach tourism director Arturo Davalos is one person. Municipal tourism 
uh, director Ludwig Estrada is a different person. So this has nothing to do with the guy that is collecting two salaries. My bad. Davalos informed that the first official summer vacation weekend in Puerto Vallarta was very successful with hotel occupancy as high as 76%, but factoring in the occupancy registered in platform options such as Airbnb, it is estimated that our city benefited from an occupancy of about 86% on the first summer vacation weekend. That is not bad at all. Uh, moving right along, I remember somebody asked about the end of the school year just a few days ago. According to this news item, the school year ended this past weekend here in Jalisco. Um, and the 2022 to 23 school year is expected to begin on Monday, August 29, and is expected to end on Wednesday, July 26 of next year. So, of course, children uh, and students of all ages are going to enjoy, hopefully, an extended weekend. And uh, let's see, moving right along with other headlines, I want to also, well, hold on just a second. I got a little lost here. Um, with all my windows, this is what I'm looking for. School year ends in Jalisco. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, and this, of course, has to do with um, the COVID vaccines for children. We finally have an official starting date for the upcoming pediatric COVID vaccination campaign. And it all starts tomorrow with 6,500 doses of Pfizer's pediatric vaccine available at the Naval Hospital and uh, at, uh, uh, at La Lija, where most of us adults got our vaccines. And this will happen for the next three days from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or until the vaccines run out. It is worth recalling that these particular vaccines are only for children ages 5 to 11, and an additional 850 vaccines will be distributed in the nearby municipalities of Cabo Corrientes, Tomatlán, Talpa de Allende, Mascota, and San Sebastián del Oeste. And, of course, as in all previous vaccination campaigns, your children need to be pre-registered to receive their vaccine. Meanwhile, we also learned that um, in the past month, demand for private COVID tests in Puerto Vallarta has doubled. We suspected as much, but it's nice to see that the, the news Outlets are, are taking note of this, and uh, it's good to see that uh, the population is being mindful of symptoms and such. For the rest of us, there are the sanitary guidelines that we know so well and we know to follow regardless. This is an interesting bit of news that I found out about. It seems that a concerned group of businesses, hoteliers, and residents are willing or are hoping to be able to fork the 56 million pesos required to give the highway between Basilio Vadillo and Boca de Tomatlán some much needed TLC. A proposal uh, was presented that divides the highway, that stretch of highway, into 15 separate sections for a total of 14 kilometers that would be enhanced with sidewalks, bus stops, better lighting using solar-powered lamps, and platforms that would serve as vantage points to enjoy the vistas of the bay. We don't know how, if, or when this proposal would fall into place, but it's good to know that at least the different communities um, are expressing concern for much-needed improvements. And speaking of improvements, um, and I noticed this from the bus, it seems that the new pedestrian bridge that joins together the two sections of Bucerías is finally open for people to enjoy. I have learned this morning that its construction was finished a while back, but authorities, local authorities, were waiting for some uh, federal bigwig to come and inaugurate the bridge, but apparently local authorities got tired of waiting and they simply opened the bridge without much ceremony of fan or fanfare. So this is a good thing for Bucerías. If you're not familiar with Bucerías, there is what is known as the Zona Dorada section, and then there's a stream of water in the middle that this time of year obviously is, is impossible to cross, or difficult rather. And then there is the the old 
downtown area of Bucerias on the other end. So that should give you a sense as to how the lay of the land is over there. Um, great place to go visit, by the way. I was telling Tommy along the bus ride that, you know, if you live in Puerto Vallarta, you know, you can head over to Bucerias early in the day and enjoy the beach. And there are so many beautiful restaurants right along the beach. The main plaza is gorgeous. And there's all kinds of knickknack shopping and great food to be enjoyed. Let us now take a quick look at the weather forecast before we continue with a couple of uh, other headlines and a few photographs from Guadalajara. And I can hear Luna Miao from far away. She's been very vocal since I came back. I got a big welcome from her and also from the mosquitoes that live here in the apartment. <laughs> Anyhow, um, oh, it looks like our snarky weatherman says that cloud looks like a very angry duck. Well, that's lovely. But what's lovely is the fact that we're enjoying 27 degrees right now. It feels like 31. Our humidity is high at 86% and our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 81. Our forecast for this beginning of the week calls for rain and humidity today throughout the day with a high of 31 and a low of 24. Tomorrow, Tuesday, humid and mostly cloudy through the day with a high of 31 and a low of 25. And then Wednesday, humid and mostly cloudy through the day with a high of 32 and a low of 25. So that's our weather forecast for the next few days. And of course, moving right along with a couple of other tidbits that I wish to share with you. Let me set this up. Yes, of course, it seems like there was a bit of a rainfall that uh, I missed uh, because we were coming back from, from Guadalajara. Apparently, Hurricane Estelle was busy bringing heavy rain to the region. It rained very, very heavily while we were on the highway. And then, of course, we hopped on an Uber when we arrived at about 9.45 at night. And the Uber driver told us that here in Puerto Vallarta, um, it had started to rain around five o'clock in the afternoon and it rained heavily. And apparently there was a landslide in the southern stretch of Highway 200 that stopped traffic for a few hours. So I consider myself fortunate that both Tommy and I were able to enjoy an uneventful ride back from Guadalajara on the bus um, and that we came back home without major incident. And this one made me laugh. Um, if you enjoy bimbo bread, of course, that does not make you uh, bimbo. <laughs> Where is my boom boom when I need it? It's hidden behind windows. But anyhow, bimbo has announced that they are raising their products. So it will soon be slightly more expensive to be a bimbo or to enjoy bimbo bread if that is your cup of tea. Um, I like bimbo bread, actually. Um, I buy it from time to time. Anyhow, now it is time that uh, it is time to show you a few photographs from our trip to Guadalajara. I have a little bit of show and tell if you care to enjoy it. Uh, for me, the fun started. Let me see. Setting this up. Hold on just a second. I have to start with this photograph. We had not even left the bay one more button to push hang on there you go we had not even left the bay and i was already laughing at the fact that the nuevo nayarit sign or signs are already up in place along the highway so goodbye nuevo vallarta and hello nuevo nayarit uh the next photo shows uh downtown uh, Guadalajara, where the suburbia is located. This is the Double Tree Hotel. It's a Hilton brand hotel. This is where we stayed. It was a good thing that Tommy had some accumulated points with um, with this hotel chain, and we were able to enjoy the hotel. It was um, quite lovely. It had a spectacular view, uh, and it was right in the middle of everything, which is what I wanted. Um, because, as I mentioned before, Tommy had never been to Guadalajara, and it was great to be able to show him. This is from the, the top terrace of the hotel, and as you can see, that's, there's the cathedral uh, in the background, and, of course, 
um, it was just stunning. So the hotel was lovely. It was great. I'm very, very grateful that we get to, we got to enjoy it. Um, I would not go back at, to stay at this hotel if it if it was up to me. Uh, certainly not for such a short um, visit because you know the hotel has all kinds of amenities. Uh, but I definitely would recommend their Sunday breakfast or Sunday brunch or Sunday buffet which is what we enjoyed yesterday morning. The view from up here was just spectacular. You know, from this vantage point, you can take in the cathedral on the left. You can take in the government palace or the Palacio de Gobierno from the right. That is um, the official government building. And of course, the Teatro de Goyado is not even two blocks away from this particular point. Uh, what else do we have? Um, of course, as I mentioned earlier, it was such a treat to be able to uh, empower Tommy and we both explored the fact that so much of downtown Guadalajara is now pedestrian friendly with a lot of the streets closed to vehicular traffic and there are all these water fountains here and there. So we enjoyed um we enjoyed that very, very much. Just walking around to get our bearings, and of course, it was it was really fun and sweet to to watch Tommy take it all in. And again, you've heard me say this before: wherever it is that you live, uh, whenever you have the opportunity to see a destination or a place that you're familiar with through the eyes of someone that is seeing it for the first time. It is, it is contagious. I mean, the energy uh, is contagious, and it's a great reminder of how wonderful it is where we live, wherever that may be. Ah, yes, of course, I took the opportunity to flirt with this very handsome older man that I saw at the Seven Corner um, Park or Plaza, where we enjoyed a wonderful Mexican meal upon arrival. Um, we Again, we were there just for an afternoon and a morning, and then it was time for the concert, and it, it, was, it was time to come back. And this, I think, is the end of that. But I do have two uh, video postcards that I put together for you that I want to share right away. Uh, the first one has to do with how, you know, here in Puerto Vallarta, we're just taking baby steps into being environmentally friendly and allowing pedestrians and bicycle riders to enjoy the city on Sundays. And I'm sure that this new Fluvial initiative of opening the avenue in Fluvial is going to take a while to 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 get into the minds and hearts of locals. But this is what Sunday morning looks like in the middle of downtown Guadalajara. Take a look. Woof, woof. Okay, so I am standing, I am standing at the intersection of 16 de Septiembre and Avenida Juarez in downtown Guadalajara. It is Sunday morning, and of course, the main avenue is close to vehicular traffic. And this is what you can expect to see. Let me explain a little bit of things. If I was to drive down this way and just stay on that road, I would end up in Puerto Vallarta. Now, this way is 16 de Septiembre, and I remember when this avenue was, was all vehicles. I mean, crossing this street would take walking past five or six lanes of vehicles, but the city was smart to take the road underground. So now this is all a pedestrian area. Looking this way, 
We are maybe six blocks away from the Mercado San Juan de Dios, which is uh, the largest market in Latin America, as we've mentioned. And then this is the opposite way. It, this points to some of the older churches in town and a couple of beautiful plazas that you can enjoy. But not today. Today is the great day to just sort of take it all in and enjoy everything the city has to offer when you are riding a bicycle or just walking. Um, also, so you know, that's the main cathedral and we are two blocks away from the Teatro de Goyado, which is where we're going to enjoy the symphony. And there is Tommy looking at people. Hey, Tommy! Okay, so first trip to Guadalajara, first impressions, go. First impressions, love the people. There's so much excitement going on on the streets. Uh, this is a real livable city with a lot of culture and definitely coming back soon and can't wait to explore more. Yay, so there you have it folks. Thank you for sharing this little glimpse with us. Ciao. So that's the first uh, Guadalajara moment that I that I filmed to share with with the cluster. The second one has to do with one of my favorite moments in life, and that is the moment of anticipation when you're about to enter enter a concert hall, and you know that you're surrounded with by people that have the same intention as you do. And the energy, if you allow yourself to, to take it in, the energy of that moment is, is so amazing. Okay, so this post is about, or this video is about the excitement of anticipation as you get ready to enter a concert venue. It's amazing how we can turn to our cell phones at any point in time and listen to music whenever we choose to, but there's something special about the experience, the shared experience that people enjoy when a group of 200, 300, 500 people choose to get together in the same place to enjoy the same music at the same time. We have eaten our meditation brownie. <laughs> We have tickets in hand, and we are ready to enter the theater if they let us in. Lots of people are standing around, waiting for friends, but we are good to go. Love this moment, love this moment. We are on row G. Yay. Hola, buenas tardes. Claro que sí, con confianza. Únicamente no ingresan alimentos o bebidas. No, digo que es mi botella de agua, pero no la pienso usar. Gracias. Sé que la cámara no está permitida, la voy a pagar en cuanto me siente, se lo prometo. Ahorita sí, nada más en cuanto inicie, sí hay que guardarla, por favor. Gracias, qué amable. Dentro, pues ahorita lo que la vaya a usar, sin plancha, nada más. No se preocupe. Adelante, bienvenido. De frente, puerta central. Gracias. Adelante. So we are allowed to use the camera without flash prior to the concert. These, there's cocktails available during intermission. And uh, let's see, we are in Joe Roji, number 13 and 14. Let's do it. Are you ready? Hola. Gracias. No se preocupe, muchas gracias. Everybody was so nice.
Ah, yes. We have come home. We have come home, Tommy. Check out this gorgeous theater. Buenas tardes. Sí, muchas gracias. Tommy, we did well. We did so well. Buenas tardes. Oh my God, we did so well. <laughs> oh. oh, score. Okay, so here we are. We're stopping the video. We're taking a photo as soon as we're getting ready for the performance. But this is the Teatro de Goyado. I mean, take it all in. It is just gorgeous. Okay, I wanna make sure that I have battery for one more shot, so I am signing off for now. <sighs> oh, that felt good. <laughs> Anyhow, that was our, th this very special moment, at least for me, in which you enter this environment and you just you're surrounded by the wonderful shared energy of what's about to happen and the concert was absolutely breathtaking it was beautiful um it is so nice to see that the caliber of musicianship in mexican orchestras has evolved in such a way both of us were completely mesmerized and of course after the concert we took a quick bite somewhere in town and then took an uber back to the uh, the Zapopan bus terminal and found our way back home. And this is what we have to share with you today. Now, it'll be a pleasure to turn over to your comments just to see what everybody is up to this morning, starting with your wonderful good mornings, which I love. Oh my God, David, your return trip is coming up very, very quickly. How exciting. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you very much for your comments on the Guadalajara photos that we've, that I've already posted on the Coffee and Headlines page. Um, I figured we would do something from Guadalajara and then have something special for the broadcast today. Uh, let's see what else we have. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, architecture was breathtaking. Well, it's such an old city. And, and you know, if, when you're in downtown Guadalajara, anywhere you look up and, and you see history. I mean, it's just the architecture is absolutely wonderful. Um, of course, I'm not an architecture expert of any kind, but still I appreciate the contrast in building styles. Um. <laughs> Oh, Rita, we come from the same world after the fold. Wonderful neologism. We come from the same place, publishing and design and all that good stuff. Gina, Gina is here. And that reminds me to remind you, of course, that we have our meet and greet this coming Thursday at Whiskey Kitchen. Uh, Gina, we need to touch base as to whether the surprise we talked about is going to be ready for showtime or not. I will check in with you later on. But for the rest of us, Cluster, if you want to get together and hang out for a little while and enjoy some great food and beverages and get to know each other a little better, this will all happen at Whiskey Kitchen Versailles this coming Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. I'll make sure to put a reminder in the show notes. Um, let's see what else we have. Do -de do 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 uh, nice comments about Bucerias. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Gary, I hope it's mild. Uh, I hope you come back victorious from it, and I hope you, you go through it without incident. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. 
What are the average temperatures in Guadalajara? Well, it gets warmer in the summer, cooler in the winter, but through any average day in Guadalajara or any mountain city in Mexico, you can expect that the mornings and the evenings are cooler, the middle of the day is warmer, and it was so great this time of year because it was cool, it was fresh, um, it was not cold and it was not humid. So we were very comfortable on Saturday walking around the city during the daytime wearing shorts. And of course, on Sunday, we were out and about with long pants and short sleeve shirts. And it was just gorgeous. Um, there was some rain overnight, but we didn't we didn't feel it. So it was it was a beautiful, beautiful time to be there. Um, Harold says, we always laugh at the water fountain with the children peeing in the middle of it. Yes, I, you know, I found that water fountain. I don't know that I prepared a photo of it to show right now, but uh, I found it. I That was another blessing of this trip. I, even though I endeavored to show Tommy a lot of the places that we know, that I know, I ended up, uh, we ended up walking along a couple of places that I was not familiar with. So it was absolutely wonderful. Um Ronald asks, was it cool outside? Looks like a lot of folks are in long sleeves. Well, yes, um, it is It is chilly at night and, and, and you want to be wearing like a shawl or something in the evening. But during the daytime, we were fine again with short sleeves. Uh, let's see. You look so happy. Well, I'm in my element, Ramona. For me, the concert hall is, is, is a sacred place. It's a sacred place and... And I always get happy. And I'm so excited that there's already two concerts that I'm aware of in Guadalajara before the year is over that I would not mind getting a chance to travel back to. Um, the Philharmonic of Jalisco, the Jalisco Philharmonic has not announced their next season yet, but I look forward um, to learning what their new offerings will be in the next season. You mentioned Moscos. How bad are they this time of year? Well, if you're here in Puerto Vallarta, they are everywhere. It's the humid season. It's the rainy season, and that's what brings the mosquitoes out. So, you know, here in the house, I'm used to my my small share of them. And uh, even though I am up on a third story, uh, but when I'm out and about in the city, if I am at street level, I make sure to bring bug repellent and, and cover my my legs with it because they they get hungry. Let's see what else. Uh, of course, there will be more in the future, Rita. Right now, we're aiming at having four meet and greets a year or one every quarter. So we are looking forward to the, what would be the summer meet and greet. Um, but we will have many more. Um, Angelica recommends the October fiestas in in uh, in uh, in Guadalajara. Yes, it is an, another great cultural time to be there. And um, oh, and thank you very much for that, Charles. I have not even had a chance to take a look at the comments um, from Saturday's walk, and it was so funny because I was just walking out and about, and all of a sudden. Prof. Harper stops me, and it was fun to have a conversation with him. And um, and thank you for your comment, Charles. It is great to hear other people's Mexican transition experience. And uh, I there are some surprises coming to Coffee and Headlines in the next few weeks in, as it relates to having equipment that enables us to have more of these one-on-one -on -one conversations while we're walking. So I look forward to being able to bring that kind of experience to coffee and headlines more frequently. And this, my friends, is what we have for today. I think this is a great way to start the week. At least it's a great way for me to start the week. I hope you will all have an amazing week. Uh, moving on, we are going to uh, continue to do what we do and we love. Uh, this week, I am expecting the arrival of a connection box that will allow me to plug in my second monitor, and we will have a little bit more of a fun experience as we used to have before the computer started going a little crazy. But between now and then, I want to thank you, as always, for spending some time with Luna and myself. I hope your week begins beautifully. I hope you'll stay kind and happy and careful and mindful of your health and everybody else's. And I hope you'll come back soon. 
again to spend some time with me. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.